up dogs? We're back. We're back out of the surf. It's been a while since I've been out here and I've been excited to do this video for a long time. So, if you've been a, a subscriber to this channel for any amount of time, you've probably seen me throw this lure. I've caught a ton of surf perch, some nice striped bass, and actually the biggest striped bass on my channel was a 20 pound striper. It was caught on this very lure right here. This is the Lucky Craft Flash Minnow. And uh, yeah, it's been a good solid producer out in the surf for a long time. But today I'm gonna be trying something a little bit different. Recently, here on the west coast, there's been a new lure that's kind of burst onto the scene. It's been all the craze, and that's this guy right here. This is the Kalisa. It's their version of the Lucky Craft Flash Minnow, basically. It's a little bit cheaper. It looks almost exactly the same. And uh, yeah, we're gonna test it out in the surf today. So let me take this one out of the package. So really the person who kind of broadcasts this to YouTube world is Hook to Cook. He's a Central Coast surf fisherman and uh, he's caught plenty of surf perch on this one. He claims that this is actually better for surf perch than the Lucky Craft. So we're gonna test that out today out here on the Northern California coast, out here in the Bay Area. I wanna fish this thing right out of the box. This guy, I've actually fished for a long time and made a few modifications, the hooks, the split rings. Uh, but first off, we're gonna try fishing this one straight out of the box. And I can tell you, I'm pretty sure if I hooked a big striped bass on this one, these hooks would straighten out no problem. Similar to what happened on the Lucky Craft when I caught that 20 pounder. But the chances of a big striped bass this time of year are extremely low, probably basically zero. First impressions, just looking at the two next to each other, this one's like a little bit thicker. But other than that, I mean, if you look at the color pattern, basically the same. This is the Super Glow Sardine, the one that uh, Edward from Hook to Hook told me is the money ticket. This is Metallic Sardine. This is the one that I've been using up here. I've ever actually tried this color. So I'm interested to see how it, uh, how it compares to what I've thrown in the past. I wanna see the effectiveness and compare the two lures to see which one catches more fish, if there is any difference. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fish one for half an hour and then the other one for half an hour. If I don't catch anything, I'm gonna switch beaches. If I do catch something, then I'm gonna go back and forth half an hour, half an hour, half an hour, half an hour, and so on. We'll see how each lure produces. try this again. So last time fishing sucked I didn't even get a single bite so we're back. I'm gonna do the same thing. One hour on the Kalisa and then, or no sorry half an hour on the Kalisa and then half an hour on the Lucky Craft. Today we got actually some more helpers. It's Olaf right here and my wife over there. She's gonna be throwing sand crabs at the same time so we kind of got the triple threat going on. The Lucky Craft, the Kalisa, and the sand crab. I got a good feeling about today. Let's go catch some fish. Oh, that's a bite. Go, got him. Are you feeling? Yeah. You think it's a good one or a small one? Good one? Looks good. Yeah, it's a decent one. Well, what did I say? I got a good feeling about today and I haven't even thrown my line in and we already got one on the board. The secret is just bringing your wife out, so. First one, not too bad. Maybe about a pound on the sand crab. I need to get my line in, so we'll get this one taken care of real quick. See you back out there. Okay, we're finally fishing. See what time it is. 
All right, first cast going in at 9.30. There's one. There's one. First fish on the Kalisa. There's, not too bad, what is this? Four minutes into fishing. Oh, we got doubled up. Oh no. It's going off today, boys. I don't know what this is. I think it's a perch. Yep, it's a perch. Not a bad one either, look at that. We're doubled up over here. Oh, here's a good one too. Sand crab and Kalisa both going off. Fishing is insane right now. Look at this. Two fish coming in. All off, look out. Come on. It's out of control right now. It's hot right now though. I know, that's why I need to get back fishing. All right, here's one. There's another one. This one's a little bit bigger. All right guys, it's going off right now. There's one, that's mine. We got that one on the Kalisa. And then there's the second one. Well, I've got this one on the sand crab. It's literally going off right now. I gotta throw these in the bag. I gotta get back out there. This is just insane. Oh man. It's been a while since I got on a good, good perch bite, and once you find a few fish like this, they're literally schooling up right out here. You can just hammer them. All right, guys, no more action on the Kalisa in the last 15 minutes or so. Half an hour is up. Now half an hour for the Lucky Crack. Let's see what makes it happen. There's one on the Lucky Craft. This one feels like a good one too, if it's a perch. Been fishing for about 15 minutes with this guy. I finally hooked one. This feels like a good one. Yeah, he's taking drag there. So hard to tell if it's a perch. Oh yeah, it's a perch. It's a good one. Good perch. Boom. Look at that. That is about, if it's not two pounds, it's just shy of two pounds right there on the Lucky Craft. Boom. All right guys, so my wife went to take Olaf for a walk. And then as soon as she returned, boom. Biggest fish of the day so far, probably around 15 or 16 inches or so. For those of you keeping track at home, that's one on the Lucky Craft and one on the Kalisa. And four caught while my wife's been here and zero while she's not, so. We gotta get back out there while she's here because obviously that's what's bringing the fish in. So put this one in the bag and get back out there.
Yesterday, terrible. Today, surf perch probably was hot. So that's just how it goes out in the surf sometimes. Sometimes the fish are there, they're hitting. It's boom, 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 nonstop action. And other times it's completely dead. So you never know what you're gonna get out here. But let me just show you the setup that my wife used to catch all those surf perch on the sand crab. And it just goes to show you don't need anything expensive to come out here and catch fish. All this is is a little travel rod. I think it's about $30 on Amazon. And a casking Mela, which is, I, I don't know, it's been a while since I bought this thing. I think it's about $30 or $40. So under $70, you can get a setup and catch some fish out in the surf. Obviously, it's not gonna perform as well or last as long as the expensive setups like my normal go-to one, but it'll definitely get the job done. So I'll leave all this linked in the description below if you wanna check it out. So a couple of takeaways you can get from this video is, I've said this before, the sand crab will consistently outfish a lucky craft or a Kaliso, that type of lure. Just because the number of fish that can eat physically a sand crab is, is way higher than a Kaliso. But what you will get with the Kaliso and the light craft is you'll get a better average size. So I only caught two today, but both of mine were bigger than all of the ones that Elizabeth caught, even though she caught way more than I did. So that's pretty standard with the lucky craft Kaliso. Hello. Do you have anything to say from today? What's up gamers? Alright guys, here's probably what everyone's clicking on this video to see which one's better, which one do I think is better, the Kalisa and the Lucky Craft. And honestly, at this point, I think it's too close to call. I'm gonna keep testing it out. Today, each lure caught one in the uh, limited time that we had out here. So the sample size is way too small to give a definite, this one's better, or this one's worse, whatever. The one thing that is going for the Kalisa, and the one thing that I can say for sure is this one is cheaper. I think it's $13.99, $14.99. I'll leave a link down below, and on top of that, you can get 10% off if you use the code DIEHARD at checkout. This is the one I was using today. This is the Super Glow Sardine Color. I'll leave the link in the description below. So if you haven't got the Lucky Craft and you want to get in on this game, this is the, definitely the cheaper option. With the 10% off, I think you can get one for like $13, somewhere around $12, $13. And uh, this one you buy on Amazon, I think is around 20. So save a little money, get this one, enter the code DIEHARD at checkout. So that's it for today. We'll keep testing the Kalisa. I'll get back here out here another day and put it to the test. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the view. Once again, if you want to get this lure, click the link below, enter the code DIEHARD at checkout, get your 10% off, and get out to the surf and start catching some surf perch. Now's the time. See you guys next time.